Hey guys, it's Harry. Today we're diving literally into the weirdest, coolest and most legendary creatures from the ocean. And even how AI can bring these creatures to life in video. Puffer fish, when threatened, they inflate into a spiky balloon-like shape, puffing themselves up two to three times their size to deter predators. These dramatic defences are made even more potent as well as being extremely poisonous, they possess beak-like teeth that can crush mollusks and crustaceans, making them skilled hunters despite their slow swimming. Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle? What truly sets them apart is their dramatic and rare mass nesting behaviour known as Arabada, where hundreds or thousands of females come ashore simultaneously, usually during the day, to lay eggs in a communal frenzy. Once hatched, these tiny turtles sprint towards the ocean and spend their early years drifting among floating seaweed before returning to coastal waters to forage. The adults use strong beaks to feed on crabs, clams, shrimp, fish and jellyfish. Seahorse, they flutter along using their dorsal fin on their back and steer with their pectoral fins near their head. For more fun videos, tap subscribe and ring the bell. Weedy Sea Dragon? They aren't great swimmers, so they gracefully ride the currents using barely visible fins to steer. After courtship, the female deposits her eggs into the male's brood patch. Leafy Sea Dragon? It's like a sea dragon on steroids, covered in front-like appendages that replicate underwater foliage to near invisibility. Each leafy lobe is pure camouflage, not used for swimming. Instead, they glide elegantly on tiny translucent pectoral and dorsal fins. Blue Sea Dragon? isn't a fish at all, but a tiny sea slug, worm and predator rolled into one. With electric blue bodies and silver undersides, they float upside down on the ocean surface, sipping on the venomous Portuguese man of war. They absorb toxins from their prey and store them in specialized sacks. They are hermaphrodites, meaning each individual can produce both eggs and sperm. So if a predator tries to snack on one, it gets a painful surprise. Sea turtle? They reach sexual maturity quite late, often between the ages of 12 and 40, depending on species. Mating occurs at sea, where males use their sharp claws to clasp onto the female shell during courtship. Interestingly, females may mate with multiple males over the season, storing sperm in their oviducts to fertilize eggs at the successive nesting events. When ready, females haul themselves onto sandy beaches, often the same exact spots where they were born. This is where they will lay their eggs. Goldfish, before they begin courtship behaviours like chasing and nudging, the males will chase females at the water surface, then gently bumping so the females release eggs while sperm is released by males over them to achieve external fertilisation. Largemouth bass. Males prepare nesting sites by clearing shallow gravel 
or sand bottoms close to cover. They aggressively guard these nests during and after egg deposition, fanning the eggs with their fins. Koi fish, these vibrant carp typically begin breeding in spring when water temperatures rise to around 18 to 21 degrees Celsius. Mature males vigorously chase and bump into spherical gravid females, encouraging her to release up to tens of thousands of sticky eggs onto submerged plants. Once the eggs are fertilized, they cling to surfaces and hatch within three to five days. The fry are tiny, about six millimeters long. Frogfish are true masters of camouflage, mimicking sponges, coral or seaweed and waiting motionless for unsuspecting prey to pass close by. Queen Triggerfish is a colourful coral reef powerhouse growing up to 60 centimetres with hard rhomboid scales and bold patterns of blue, green and yellow. Equipped with strong jaws and sharp teeth, they crunch through sea urchins, crustaceans and mollusks. Clown Triggerfish earned their name from bold polka dots and checkerboard patterns that stand out like underwater confetti. They grow to around 50 centimetres and use powerful jaws to crush hard-shelled prey like crustaceans and sea urchins. When ready to spawn, males claim sandy nests and court females with displays and digging. Females lay eggs in these shallow pits and both parents fiercely guard the clutch for about eight days until the eggs hatch. Octopus. Interestingly, males die within a few months of mating, which prevents competition with offspring. Hatchlings emerge as tiny para larvae floating in the plankton before settling to the seafloor to grow independently. Blue ringed octopus is one of the most venomous marine creatures on earth. It is capable of paralyzing and killing a human in minutes. Piranha feared for their razor-sharp teeth and flesh-eating reputation. Red-bellied piranhas are actually opportunistic carnivores, consuming insects, plants and carrion. Yellow boxfish? These charming fish are engineers. Their rigid hydrodynamic shape offers lessons for designing underwater vehicles balance stability and maneuverability. Anomalocaris was an ancient marine predator that reached up to one meter in length. With a circular tooth-lined mouth and two spiny frontal appendages, it was built for speed and catching prey. Sally Lightfoot crab this crab deftly scuttles across slippery volcanic rocks thanks to its flattened carapace and long splayed legs, allowing for unstoppable agility and even short bursts of swimming. They are often seen cleaning off marine iguanas. Marbled ray, they lie buried in soft sands with just eyes and spiracles exposed waiting for prey. At night, it ambushes small fish using electric shocks. Manta ray? They are majestic ocean dwellers with wingspans up to seven meters. Blue spotted ray? They prefer sandy flats 
and seagrass beds. They often hide beneath ledges during the day, emerging at night to hunt small fish and invertebrates. Sea star? They have a secret power. Asexual reproduction through arm fragmentation. Some species can regrow a whole new starfish from a single arm. They are able to use sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction. Sea stars also boast a unique anatomy called the water vascular system, featuring tube feet used for movement, feeding and breathing. This hydraulic system allows them to pry open bivalves and gently walk along rocks. They play vital roles in controlling muscle and barnacle populations, balancing their ecosystems. Goblin shark lurks in the dark depths of the world's oceans with its eerie pink-toned skin and flattened snout. Its most iconic feature is its jaw. Attached by stretchy ligaments, it can protrude suddenly to snatch prey using a powerful suction bite. Or, while electrosensitive organs in its snout detect nearby creatures in pitch black waters. Despite its fearsome appearance, the goblin shark poses no threat to humans. Blue whale mating typically occurs in winter, often in equatorial or temperate waters. When a male and female are ready to breed, they align belly to belly and initiate internal fertilization. The male extends his massive penis, typically 2.4 to 3 meters in length and about 30 to 36 centimeters in diameter, through a genital slit to deposit sperm directly into the female's vagina. The male's sexual organ is internally contained until mating. This intermittent organ is supported by vestigial pelvic bones and specialised tissues that allow erection without the high pressure blood flow seen in land mammals. Male blue whales possess two large testes located within their abdominal cavity. Each testicle can weigh between 45 and 68 kilos and during breeding a single ejaculation may release about 20 litres of semen. Megalodon was the largest shark and largest fish to ever roam the seas, reaching lengths of 15 to 18 metres and weighing over 50 tonnes. It was an apex predator from around 23 to 2.6 million years ago. It preyed on whales, seals and large fish, wielding a bite force capable of crushing a car and rivaling T-Rex. Their extinction was likely due to global cooling and habitat loss. Megalodons left behind massive teeth and a restructured marine food web. Thanks for diving deep with me today. If you loved exploring these awesome sea creatures, hit like, subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss our next underwater adventure. Drop a comment below. What ocean legend should we cover next? Catch you on the next wave.